Chopper 6 and the Action Cam are live in the Lehigh Valley, where the former home of Bethlehem Steel is just seconds away from being imploded. This is the Martin Tower, actually the tallest building there in the Lehigh Valley, and within a matter of actually probably less than a minute, we expect that building to uh, come crumbling down. Uh, it's been there uh, for, for decades now, a staple there in that community. Uh, we have not gotten the official uh, countdown as of yet, but uh, in a matter of seconds, maybe minutes, we'll see that building coming down. We're told the uh, total thing will last about 17 to 20 seconds. This is really going to change the skyline of the Lehigh Valley. This building has 21 floors and each floor was a different department of the company. Of course, this was America's second largest steel producer and the largest shipbuilder at one time, Bethlehem Steel. Yep, the building uh, built back in 1958 and it actually uh, ceased operations in 2003. And you see that design there. It, it has a unique design actually built like that to uh, produce a number of corner offices. So that was uh, the, uh, the reason for that design there. But again, it's 7 o'clock right now. We expect that building uh, to come down in just a bit. Our reporter Bob Brooks is there on the ground. He's saying that he has not gotten the official uh, countdown just yet. So uh, there could be some things going on there that we're not privy to. But again, that building uh, that's been a staple there in the Lehigh Valley for decades will come crumbling down in the implosion in just a bit. And we'll, we'll hope to bring it to you live. And this is a really emotional moment for a lot of people, particularly in the Lehigh Valley. People are up early lining the streets and packing restaurants to see the implosion and to see this piece of history. Uh, again, Bethlehem Steel was a powerhouse for much of the 1900s. It is credited with building Manhattan skyline, the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, and so much more. But a decade after this building, the Martin Tower went up, Bethlehem Steel began floundering. Competition from foreign steel triggered mass layoffs and eventually bankruptcy. So again, this is a really sort of bittersweet moment, I think, for I people know, in the Lehigh right? Valley. Um, and um, I've been looking at Twitter. There are people lining the streets uh, to get a glimpse of this building coming down. There are also so folks in restaurants, folks watching, of course, on the air. Uh, Martin Tower actually cost three, I mean, $35 million when it was built between 1969 and 1972. The planning started back in 1958, uh, so it took a while to kind of envision this, but then this great structure was created standing at 332 feet tall. Yeah, and it's actually on the National Register of Historic Places, so you can see why, you can see the chopper there, you can see why people are, you know, so emotional about watching this being imploded and watching this piece of history go up. Yep, and when that tower was uh, first opened, Bethlehem Steel was actually the second largest steel producer in the world and the 14th largest industrial corporation in America. So a whole lot of history here. Uh, and I, if you watch Bob Brooks earlier in the broadcast, he was saying that some people are kind of sad to see it go. Others happy to see it go because it's kind of a, a reminder of how the steel uh, industry kind of fizzled out here in America. That's right. And, you know, he interviewed somebody earlier, too, who was saying that, you know, uh, Bethlehem Steel built the Walt Whitman Bridge and the Ben Franklin Bridge, and so it contributed so much to our country, and not just here in our area, but also, again, credited with building so many of the iconic structures uh, that, you know, are still part of Manhattan's skyline. Yeah, and uh, back in 1973, we're, we're talking about history because this building has so much history, but back in 1973, the first full uh, year that tower was occupied, Bethlehem still uh, set a company record producing 22.3 million tons of raw steel and shipping uh, 16.3 million tons of finished steel. It made $207 million in profit that year and exceeded that the following year. Uh, so uh, a lot of history there, there at that particular is. building. We're gonna keep this picture up, but we wanna get to Chris Sowers with weather because boy, today is the day, <laughs> right, Chris? Just beautiful out there. Nice know, and Chris, Oh, and here we, is it starting? It looks like we saw something. Yeah. Uh, okay, we don't know if Chris can hear us. Here it goes up. There we go. All right. So Martin Tower being imploded right now. There it goes. There you see it A go. A piece of history. No more. So many people watching this this morning and saying goodbye to Bethlehem Steel powerhouse for much of the 1900s. Again, Martin Tower here was went up in 1972, three years after construction started. Yeah, this Go ahead. I'm sorry, Nydia. The skyline of the Lehigh Valley now forever changed. Forever changed. Yes, this was once the uh, tallest building there in the Lehigh Valley. But as you can see, it just came down a little after 7 o'clock, 7.04. That building uh, came down within a matter of seconds. And it's just kind of amazing to see uh, this history, right? The years it took to build, all the history inside that building. But within a matter of seconds, it came crashing down.